There used to be a time where when you showed up to E3, you brought your best stuff, okay? And strange spectator sport of giving away participation trophies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Just Jay once again, back with another video that you didn't ask for. But in anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I obviously wanted to talk about E3 this video. 100% I'm not satisfied with anything that goes on this year. I get it, there's COVID, I get it. There's a lot of issues and stipulations and things that are in the way. Okay, cool, 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 that's understandable. I don't know about you guys, but this year is mid, absolutely mid, bro. Uh, I think um, gaming content creators usually eat around this time. You know what I mean? There's usually new events, uh, games, updates, DLC, things to talk about, you know, things to actually be excited about. But this year, it just doesn't feel right. You know, it hasn't, honestly, it hasn't felt right the past couple of years, specifically because with a lot of the industry just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, it's getting harder to manage um, and not in a good way. Between this year and last year, I mean, it's a lot of like red flag type issues, you know what I mean? Um, from the the giant coming soon banners to announcing games three, four, five years in advance and us not having anything to like show for it. Um, coming to E3 and the show floor and having almost nothing to show except for a four to six second trailer. And it's like, oh, it's in development. It's on the way. Like, I just don't see a point in a lot of that stuff. Then you have uh, the live service stuff. Then you have the DLC stuff, a bunch of free to play stuff, mobile game stuff. Like it's, the industry is changing in such a way that it's just really weird right now. I remember when I was younger, E3 used to be the Super Bowl of video games. Like this was a time period when the company, the major companies would compete and even some of the smaller ones would absolutely compete for people's attentions, okay? There used to be a time where when you showed up to E3, you brought your best stuff, okay? And aside from that, like the other companies, they would also show off the best stuff that they had in order to try and one up previous companies. I remember uh, the first, the first ever E3 I went to, that was the God of War announcement. And I believe it was like Halo 2 at the time was like a, a big deal and, I just remember this giant Kratos statue in the middle of the showroom floor and then right across the way at the Xbox one there was a giant Master Chief and it just, it felt like these two gigantic companies were competing against each other and then Nintendo was like trying to throw a hat in there every now and then with like, hey, we sell kids games and we make money. So it's weird to see this whole new era of uh, this strange spectator sport of giving away participation trophies, like just for showing up, just for trying. Like I get it, games are getting more expensive to make allegedly, but shouldn't technology be getting better in order to make games? I feel like I'm not the necessary, like I'm not of the correct IQ level to even ask a question like that, but it just kind of seems like the two go hand in hand. So it doesn't make any sense to me. Since the industry has gotten so big, it's almost to a point where it's kind of negative, if that makes any sense, uh, where it's uncontrollable and now uh, companies really need to assure that they're getting their money back for a lot of stuff. So you'll see a lot of sequels, a lot of DLC, a lot of like relying on the same IPs year after year after year and yearly updates and more updates to, to games that we've already played and stuff like that. And it almost doesn't seem like there's enough new fresh blood coming in. It's, it's not, I remember the gaming industry used to be something that I personally wanted to be a part of. And it's honestly hard as a content creator to want to still be in this realm when there's not a whole lot of new ideas, especially for somebody like me who has played tons of video games. And it seems like some are just trying to copy older games. Older games are getting remastered or updated and then they come out bad. And then it's just, it's this weird situation that we have existing. My ideal situation, I always thought the industry would get so big to where we actually had a week long E3 gaming festival, if you will. So 
think about this. Um, if any of you have ever been to an actual concert or uh, a music festival or Coachella or Rolling Loud or anything like that where it's these huge areas of just this one particular like genre of music in these different areas and stuff like that i always thought gaming would reach that point um kind of like coachella but you know more nerdy and a little bit more musty um and a lot more doritos and mountain dew but i don't think the industry will ever actually go in that way i i remember e3 being it's supposed to be a celebration of the gaming industry and everything that comes with it not a showboaty how can we guarantee a bag next year or the year after um especially with a lot of games being announced way way too early um and then not showing up with gameplay i feel like that is the cheesiest and corniest thing you could do during e3 is not having something to actually show um so that's been kind of disappointing to me right about now as a content creator um, who is not succeeding, who is not thriving, who is not getting millions of views per video, hundreds of thousands of views, even thousands of views per video. Uh, E3 is usually a time where somebody of my size looks forward to these things, but with less and less to actually talk about, not even, we haven't even gotten into the fact that Sony just refuses to show up. It's kind of like, man, where is this industry going? Because a lot of games, a lot of people even ask, like, I don't know, a couple of episodes of the podcast, uh, has gaming become unfun? And I truly believe if you've played more, if you've played majority of the video games every single year that comes out, yes, it is kind of getting stale, it's getting dry, it's just, ugh. It's almost hard to put together words for how disappointed I am personally. Um, I would have loved to see a lot more stuff, but maybe this is just one of those things that I'm not aware of, and I'm not like fully aware of everything that's going on per se. And maybe this is just one of those things where it's like, hey, we can only come out with two, three games a year because they take so long to make, <sighs> especially for Ubisoft, because they make these gigantic 50, 60 hour long games for absolutely no reason, and they turn out bad. And, but I mean, you know, I, I'm a Ubisoft stan, and so that's kind of hard for me to say, and kind of hard for me to like swallow and deal with, especially because we have Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed every other year, and now we have Far Cry coming this year, and people just don't seem happy about that. People don't really seem happy about anything. It almost seems like dislike bombing and, and disliking things on purpose have become the new norm. And which is not great. That's I don't think that's where the industry should be going at all. Um, and not to mention, like, just the amount of actual mediocrity that's coming out. It's just not, it's not fun. But let me know what you guys think. I know uh, as of today, the release of this video, Nintendo is, pre is presenting. So hopefully they have something good. Um, I'm not a Nintendo fan, but hopefully they have something come out. Um, like, I don't know, maybe a Mega Man Battle Network collection, uh, but Capcom probably would have announced that, which they didn't, so it looks like I'm still not getting a Switch. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. How do you guys feel about E3 this year, last year? What do you think next year is going to be like? This is always such a weird conversation to have because we expect more and more uh, every single year, but for the past maybe three or four years, me and my group of friends have expected less and less um so you know and we haven't been disappointed yet so <laughs> we just check our expectations at the door so uh but i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section let me know uh this has been your man jay i will catch you guys tomorrow with another video make sure to keep it canon